Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about tooltip feature in Power BI. The tooltip feature is very common in every technology nowadays. We can see the tooltip feature in SSRS and Java, .NET, almost in all the technologies. Tooltip is a one which will describe about the fields or sometimes it may show you detailed information about a particular field. So there is a report is designed like this. So there is a report which has been designed. Let me show you that. So if you see this, so there is a report like this has been designed. So there is a field A and there is a field B and there is a field C. So on the whole, we will be seeing A, B, C only. But if you want to see the detailed about A, when you hover on A, you will get a kind of box which talks about complete A. So again, when you hover on B, it opens a separate box. Maybe that can be a chart, that can be a, a straight forward information or that can be a calculated information. You can see that even whenever you hover on C, it will show you some different information. This tooltip will be calculated, will be generated dynamically whenever you hover on a particular label or particular chart or particular field in a original report or original page. So whenever you remove the mouse on the particular A or B or C, the tooltip, it automatically disappears. So here, what I mean is tooltip is nothing but this, this, this. So these three boxes are the tooltips. It automatically, it dynamically populates whenever you hover on a particular label in the original report, label or chart or any field in a original report. Now I will show you how to generate a tooltip in the Power BI. This tooltip feature got introduced in the year of 2018 March month. The people who are using till February, they will not be able to do the tooltip uh, visualizations. Please update your uh, Power BI desktop to March version at least to use that uh, tooltip feature. Let me go to this uh, Power BI window to show you the um, what is the version which I am using currently. To check the version, so go to help there is a about button to check the version which currently I'm using. Even you can check the same stuff in your machine. Open the Power BI window, go to help, click on about. So once you click on about, so there it will show you the Power BI desktop current version which is installed on your machine. If you see, I have March 2018 version in my machine. If you see the version, the version number is this if you see this version 2.56502310216264 bit march 2018 e almost nowadays in almost every month power bi is releasing microsoft is releasing a separate version for each and every month with a lot of advantages lot of features this feature got introduced in the march month release so just cross verify if you are using march 2008 version or below version if you are using the below lower version than March 2018, then you will not be able to work with a tooltip. But this is one of the important visualization property for Power BI. Next. So that's the first step you need to cross verify. So once you are done that, so once you are done, then just click on this, go to options and settings and go to options here. So once you go there, there you need to Check one property to use the tooltips. So what is the property is? So go to preview features. So at the end you have a property. So report page tooltips. So by default it will be in the uncheck mode. Let's check this feature. This is the second setting you need to do. This is the second check you need to do to work with the tooltips in the Power BI. So once you are done with that, then we'll go to the real development on the tooltips. Let me go to that. Let's click on OK. Here, for all my examples, I will be using AdventureWorks Data Warehouse 2012. So let's load the data, some sample data from the database. Get data. Click on SQL Server. 
and as usual my server name is dot slash sql2012 click on ok so once i click on ok it shows me the list of available databases in my server so let me expand the database which i am planning to use so here i, I am planning to take what are all the tables which i am planning to use for my example i am taking dim date so dim product dim product category dim product subcategory and one fact table so here i selected couple of dimension tables and one fact table so that is enough for my example so let me click on load so here we will be getting many columns if you see the preview here here we will be getting many columns if you don't want that columns so you can go to edit and you can remove the unwanted columns but in this example i don't want to concentrate on that edit so let's click on load so once i click on load so based on the size of the data it takes a while to load that data into in memory of my power bi window if you see that it is a loading you can see the progress buttons here so these are the progress buttons you can see here okay so loading detecting and all yeah so once it is done so you can see those stuff in the here you can see so those are the so list of tables which has been loaded here now let me start the power bi tooltip part power bi tooltip part so here so i have a page one so i can name it to a, be a better name but let's go with a page one so first thing what you need to do is select the page one when you are in the page one so here there are two icons if you see this is kind of some data label one this is kind of formatting one select this select this here there are two tab kind of stuff two three sections page information page size page background let's expand the page size so once you expand the page size there is a property type so select that so there is a tool tip so let's make this page as a tool tip as a first step so i am going to make this as a tool tip and and let's expand the page information as well and by default tool tip is in off mode let's make it as on there are two things i have done the first one is i made type as a tool tip second one is i switched on the tool tip feature there are two things i have done once i enter into the power bi window yeah once it is done then come to the page see if you if you see here so by looking at this page so this is entire page is active now if you see that but ideally the size of the tooltip is very less. I will show you how to see the actual size of the tooltip. Now, let's go to the view. If you go to the view, there is a page view is there. Just go there and take the actual size. So, once you click on the actual size, the size it automatically reduces. It means that this is the size of the tooltip. So, there is the actual size. But for developing purpose, you can use the larger size but when we really come to the picture we will get the tooltip in this size only okay so now i can make it as a bigger page that's not a problem or i can use this that's not a uh, big problem so let's take a one chart either of it so either uh, this chart or that chart so let me take this chart okay and before that so before going to select the chart let's remove the chart and so here if you see i made this page as a tooltip so here once i made as a tooltip i need to fill this tooltip fields what field do you want to make as a tooltip here on on which field hover you want to display this information that i need to select so i want to display on the top of the sales amount whenever i hover on a sales amount field i want to display this tooltip so let's select the sales amount here so let me select here to sales amount as a tooltip field so once it is done then let me come back to the visualization development let's take the chart either of it or this or that whatever it is yeah this chart and let's take the fields so what i am trying to do is so i am planning to display the list of products in product wise sales amount here so i am planning to select this and on the top of the product category i want to keep as a sales amount here means here product category wise sales amount i am displaying in the tooltip so let me set the sales amount yes yeah if you see here 
if you see in the bigger space this is how you will get it so accessories bikes and clothing there are three categories i have category wise sales amount i am planning to display in the tool tip so this is about a tool tip now how to use this tool tip in the next original report so let me add a new page here let's click on this plus yeah this is the original place page where i am planning to use that tool tip here so let me develop this so maybe this or that either of it let me use the same similar kind of chart also here also but i can use in either of the chart now so let me select here so here this chart i am planning to display the information based on the year based on the year first let me select the sales amount yeah sales amount so now let me select them calendar year so let me take this to here now so let me minimize both see here if you see here so i have a 2005 2006 2007 and 2008 data in my adventure works a warehouse okay if you see here i did not link the tool tip and my page one and page two but still if i hover this box i can see the i can see the sales amount for the year of 2008 i can see the accessory sales bike sales and clothing sales now if you if i go to the 2005 year i don't have any sales in the other categories except the bikes if i go to the 2006 if i hover the 2006 i have sales only on the bikes if i hover 2007 i have a sales in accessories clothing and bikes but see when you go to other technologies like ssrs or dot net you need to physically link that and this but here you do not require to do that so in the page one you need to make that as a tooltip and you need to select a proper field there but in the next section next time onwards whenever you use that field in any page it automatically show you that tooltip whenever you hover on that particular chart or bar or label so this is how the tooltip is going to work in the power bi thank you for watching if you are if you require any online trainings on power bi or msbi please drop a mail to training to sql.com please don't forget to provide feedback on my videos please like and subscribe thank you thank you for watching